Hello there, Geeks of the North. This is the NorthGeek.com unboxing and review of the Sony Ericsson Nate, which is the first eco-friendly phone available from Sony Ericsson in Canada and is now already launched on Fido, as you can see from the box. So, one thing that makes this already eco-friendly is that it saves on power and packaging. As you can see, it's tiny. Yes, I'm a man and I have huge hands, but this packaging is still pretty small. Let's compare it to a dime. That makes it look big. Let's see what we've got in here. Very simple, everything's just kind of thrown in here on the top. You see how to assemble everything so they're saving on the packaging. Take out our phone, which we'll look at in a little bit. We have our whoop, battery. Make sure it's all staying in the frame here. I forgot my Gorillapod. Everything's falling out of the box like crazy. We have our AC power adapter. We'll put that off to the side. Maybe I can get my lovely assistant to film a little from a better angle, or is this okay? Thank you, sir, the lovely assistant. We have some recycled Green Heart by Sony Ericsson documents here. Let's see what they all are, because I know we need to show that. Oh, this is showing the Green Heart initiative and what it's all about. And of course, it comes with the uh, headphones with a special adapter that uh, plugs in perfectly to the Nate phone. And this little USB adapter for um, syncing with your computer and putting on new music and things like that. Now, we're going to take a look at the phone. Let's get it set up. It comes in this nice little, it's kind of like a fabric, probably 100% recycled. Seems like, um, uh, you know, those packagings, Patri something? I don't I forget what it's called. I don't know, they, they package uh, potatoes in it too. Here's the phone. We'll take a look at it before we put the, uh, the battery in it. Let's take a look. So it's got a normal phone keypad. It's got a unidirectional button in the middle. Your call and end. On the side, we have our volume up and volume down. This here is showing where the micro SD card goes. That's on the inside. I'll show you that. And that's how you would open up the back flap as well. On the left side, we've got our charging as well as our audio and data port. We've got a little dongle thingle flanger thing that you can put your little stick in, your little uh, strap in if you wanted to. Nothing on the bottom as the connection's on the top. And that is basically it. So let's uh, get this going. Pop the battery in. I'll show you what's on the inside if I don't break it. The uh, Fido SIM card is already in there as you can see. Thanks to Fido for this demo handset. Rather thanks to Sony Ericsson. Micro SD card is already in there. Uh, it comes prepackaged with a one gig card from Fido. So you can put your music on there. And like I said, I'll get into the capabilities of the phone. Pop the battery in. Let's turn it on by the power button right here. All right, so here we go, North Geekers. We have the phone. I forgot to show before. There is a two megapixel camera on here with a very small lens, so I don't think the megapixels mean that much. And a speaker here for both sound, uh, rather music, and speakerphone. Let's take a look at the phone. I'm going to unlock it. Pretty standard phone. Sony Ericsson has a nice operating system on it. Um, I'm going to show you some of the features here, and uh, first we'll talk about the specs. So this phone works on GSM, with GPRS and Edge at 850, 900, 1800, 1900 bands, and for 3G UMTS HSDPA, 850, 1900, and 2100 bands. Oh, and just locked up on us again. Um, phone memory comes with 100 megs already built in, so almost unlimited address book, and like I said, Fido packages it with a 1 gig micro SD card. The screen is a 262,144 color TFT screen. Really, really good. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's really vibrant looking. Um, the colors are excellent. Um, it's very smooth looking. There's no pixelation at all. It's 240 by 320 pixels. So 240 wide, 320 high. So it's a pretty small phone, as you can see in my hand. Fits into the pocket really, really nicely. Has a good feel to it. It's got rounded edges, so it feels really good in your palm. Um, and it's only 84 grams with the battery in it. Although it isn't a smartphone, it does have things like email messaging, obviously SMS messaging using T9 on the touchpad, um, which is that instinctive or rather intuitive text, text typing rather on a normal number pad. Um, it has obviously phone capabilities and a web browser. There is an option to do panoramic shots. So if you go to shoot mode, you can go down to panorama. And what it allows you to do is let's try and take a panoramic of this wire, of this cable, or, we'll, or rather of the room, and we'll try and keep it on the same axis. 
So I'm going to take one picture like this, and then if you can see, it has a bit of, a, of an overlay with the previous picture so that we can line up where it's supposed to go. You take your next one. And I'm not on a good angle here, but I'm just going to do it by guessing. And it's going to try and stitch together these three images. And if I did it right, there you go. Can you see that clearly? So it gives us a beautiful panoramic of the three images that I just took, which is a really, really neat feature to have in a small cell phone because you can take much better scenery shots if you're on vacation or at an event. Now if you go to menu and to text messaging, you can go to inbox. Oh, uh, those are some messages that I have. So let's go to write a new message or email. So you'll type out your message here. Like I said, it's got T9, so I'm going to write hi there. North Geeks. I have to do it in two. Oh, Geeks. I have to do it in two words because it wouldn't recognize North Geek as one. Uh, and then you go to continue. It's going to ask you for the phone number. So let's not look at that phone number because we don't need to share that with people on the internet. You can enter an email address or a phone number. Let's enter a phone number. We'll do. I always do plus one five one four five 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 one two one two. And when you're ready, you're going to send it. It's not going to work though, obviously because it's not a real number, so we won't send it. And that's basically it. We're not going to save it. Uh, there is instant messaging capabilities on here as well. You can sign into your MSN or Yahoo Messenger, which is really neat if you have a data plan on the 3G network. Um, on the FIDO 3G network, it's really fast as well. Mobile Mail is your FIDO-based email service that you can set up on here. Email is sending emails from your FIDO phone number. With mobile mail, you can use Hotmail or Gmail or something like that. I'm actually not going to load it up now because it's going to take too long. Let's end the application. Uh, you can call your voicemail right from here, but no one cares about that. Everyone likes to hold down the one key to call voicemail. Uh, let's see the other apps real quickly. There's my FIDO account. You can check your billing. Media, you can have your photos, your music, your videos, games, and all that in here. Games, I'm not really into, but if you are... Internet, I won't jump into. It's just a WAP browser, a basic WAP browser, showing your call history, instant messaging. These are your contacts in here. Tools, and another neat thing is your calendar, actually. Um, you can set your calendar up in your tools. There you go, calendar. And it has reminders. So someone like me who's often going to forget things, I could set dentist appointments and meetings in my calendar, and it'll show up as if I'm using set, like a BlackBerry or an iPhone or an Android phone. You can make video calls if you've noticed right here. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but there's actually a little camera facing you as well. So you can make video calls if you're um, subscribing to that service. Set alarms, file manager as well, so you can manage the files that are on your SD card. And that's basically it. Um, I basically showed you everything. You can go through your settings, set everything up. It's a solid phone. The call quality is really good. Good volume control. Um, it's very, very... Uh, sorry, definitive volume control, so one button up or one button down doesn't make it really loud or really low. Uh, the high volumes are good. I used it in a loud place. Um, and the other end always hears me perfectly. The call quality is great, although that really relies a lot more on the network than on the phone itself. Um, again, the data speeds are pretty quick, also relying on the network. Love the quality of the two megapixel camera. Um, really like the feel of the phone. It feels very solid. The buttons feel very solid. They don't feel like they're going to be cheap and fall apart. Um, it's got some good hard keys here for that are sort of contextual depending on what what menu you're in. They'll be have different uh, uses to them. Um, and that's basically it. So that is the Sony Ericsson Nate phone. Um, and it's the J105 actually is the technical name for it. Um, and it's available now from Fido. You can get it for as little as I believe $45, but don't quote me on that. We'll uh, update that in the text of the North Geek post if that's not right. So that's it. Tune in next time. Leave your comments or rather questions in the comments if you have anything. Um, and uh, if you want to see more of it, let us know. and We'll definitely show you more. So thank you very much to Sony Ericsson and Fido and our North Geek viewers, and we'll see you next time.